ABCSG18 is a placebo-controlled, double-blind, randomized phase three trial of adjuvant denosumab at the dose of 60 milligrams twice yearly for postmenopausal patients uh, on aromatase inhibitor therapy. We have previously reported the primary endpoints uh, results of this trial, demonstrating that clinical fractures are cut in half, basically, with this adjuvant uh, antibody treatment. However, uh, at least as important question is, uh, does the nozomap also affect outcome? Because as it was shown previously, with adjuvant bisphosphonates in postmenopausal women, the adjuvant application of bone-targeted therapy reduces recurrence and improves survival in breast cancer patients. So we looked at disease for survival as a secondary endpoint of the trial, and we were able to demonstrate that there is approximately an 18 to 19 percent relative uh, improvement in disease for survival which is of borderline statistical significance because the analysis is somewhat premature because we are going to unblind the trial, at least for some patients in the future, because of the dramatic benefit that was demonstrated. In absolute terms, this means that patients who get the antibody twice a year will have about 1% improvement in DFS at three years, about 2.1% at five years, and approximately 3% at seven years. It is a trial, a placebo-controlled trial of denosumab versus placebo. There is no trial with a direct comparison of bisphosphonates and uh, denosumab. When you look at the bisphosphonate um, meta-analysis, then you can see that uh, numerically these differences are, let's say, comparable um, in the Bisphosphonate meta-analysis, uh, it takes 10 years to achieve a 3% absolute benefit for patients. In our trial, this would happen in five years. So I think it's fair to say uh, that adjuvant denosumab is at least as good as adjuvant bisphosphonates in these patients. Cost and other health economy issues obviously depend on the healthcare environment. Uh, bisphosphonates are basically generic. Uh, in countries where they are available, so they are very cheap. The nozomab is more expensive in the U.S. In my country, for example, it's actually uh, uh, quite reasonable. Um, so I'm not sure that you know, definitely all these bone-targeted treatments are considerably cheaper than what we nowadays develop in terms of targeted therapies in oncology. We still have to wait for overall survival. So now we, we observe disease-free survival benefit. I believe that we are now in agreement in the scientific community that the mechanism of action of bone targeted agents in the adjuvant uh, therapy of breast cancer and prostate cancer for the matter is coming from an indirect uh, impact on the bone marrow microenvironment. We silence the bone marrow microenvironment by inhibiting osteoclasts. And by doing so, we make it more difficult for dormant tumor cells to settle or to wake up uh, in the long-term follow-up of these patients. So I believe most scientists and physicians would agree that this is a deputative mechanism of action. I believe that these data are uh, impressive. It is uh, a small but uh, uh, considerable benefit at almost uh, no tolerability cost. And essentially, the application in clinical practice will depend on you know, whether reimbursement is available, whether it's licensed in a given country or not. Uh, when it comes down to how would I treat my mother next week, yes, I would give it to her. <laughs>